When I was five years old, I was driving down a back lane in my mom's car, and um, I was sitting in the back seat, and I looked out my window, and there was a gentleman um, searching through a garbage dumpster. And I've always lived a very fortunate life. Um, I've never ever had to worry about whether or not I have, you know, a bed to sleep and or food to eat or love and care. I'm very lucky that way. Um, and I didn't realize that homelessness existed in Canada. And so I was so confused. Um, so I turned to my mom and I said, you know, what is he doing? Why is he doing that? And she said that he was down in his luck and he had to do that to eat. And I think that everybody has a moment in their life that just strikes them. It's a moment of striking realization and it hits you in the gut or in the heart or both and you just can't let go of it. Um, and for me, this was that moment. And one night, about a year later, I was being tucked into bed and I asked my mom another question. And she said, you know, Hannah, maybe if you do something about it, your heart won't feel so sad. So the next day I went to my grade one teacher and I asked her if I could talk to a class about homelessness and if we could do something to help. Um, and we ended up having a bacon art sale and having what we had raised go to um, support slow mission actually when they were in their building on Main Street. From that point on I just kind of kept speaking with others about how we could make change, what we could do to help those who are homeless and by the time I was eight we were raising enough funds and distributing enough that in order to continue that work we had to become a registered charity. So the Ladybug Foundation was born. The first fundraiser we ever did was ladybug jars and they were baby food jars you know, that we spray painted to look like ladybugs. We did it in our garage. And since then, we've uh, continued our work. We've expanded, so we're, we support 65 different shelters, missions, and food banks and soup kitchens all across the country. And we've raised um, around $4 million to support those organizations uh, and to empower young people to make change. Hannah's Place is an emergency shelter um, within Solo Mission, and Solo Mission was the first shelter that we ever supported, that first fundraiser with my grade one class. And Hannah's Place has actually provided um, more than 400,000 safe nights sleep since it's been opened. I'm incredibly honored that it's named Hannah's Place. I'm incredibly thankful for the work that Salome and you know organizations like Salome do for those who are homeless in Canada. When I was little and during that year of worrying and asking questions. Um, I remember drawing pictures of the shelter I wanted to open. And now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and it's even better that I drew it. So it means so much to me that it exists and that Sloan does the work it does. I think about heroes in a similar way that I think about leaders who have made really meaningful change. People who are heroic, they create hope in the lives of others. And I mean, to be considered a hero, I mean, I, that's, I think that means a lot to me. Um, but I think that everybody can have heroic moments that create hope for others.